resurrections to life whose names are in the book of life. In the book, the anointed, those who have been selected to rule with Jesus in heaven. The righteous, Jehovah's worshipers who died faithful to him, they will be resurrected on earth. The great crowd of other sheep, current worshipers of Jehovah who have an earthly hope presents an adjustment in our understanding of Jesus' words recorded at John 5, 28 and 29 regarding a resurrection of life and a resurrection of judgment. For example, he said, Do not be amazed at this, for the hour is coming in which all those in the memorial tombs will hear his voice and come out, those who did good things to a resurrection of life and those who practiced vile things to a resurrection of judgment. What did Jesus mean? The righteous, who did good things before their death, will receive a resurrection of life, because their names will already be written in the book of life. This means that the resurrection of those who did good things, described at John 5.29, is the same as the resurrection of the righteous mentioned at Acts 24.15. This understanding is in harmony with the statement made at Romans 6.7, which says, The one who has died has been acquitted from his sin. The sins committed by these righteous ones were canceled at death, but their record of faithfulness remains. Of course, these righteous resurrected ones will need to remain faithful in order for their names to remain in the book of life. How important it is then to make sure that our name is written in the book of life and that it remains there 